Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face, and welcome back to our experimentation with the Kestrel. I've made a few videos on a T0 Kestrel not so long ago, and we're going to be continuing to do testing here. This is basically a basic low tier uh, Kestrel, like low skills required, enough skills is just enough for using a 1 million skill point referral link, which you can find in many people's YouTube descriptions, such as mine. Uh, so that you can just get the skills straight away and i'm trying to make this quite cheap so previously we've been using this fit right here uh, a relatively cheap fit you can see here i've got quite a bit of loot in here or like relatively speaking i'm a uh, decent amount of loot uh, so we can just go and sell this but uh, the thing i wanted to discuss here and test is that we can do a slight upgrade to the fit that can like be say you've done a few sites and you've got a little bit of isk and you just want to make a little, little bit of an upgrade to your ship so they can become a little bit better because like this one 4.2 million isk uh i think it's uh, pretty good let's just see this is the same one 4.8 i think it's just the ammunition that's the difference here because this has got the more of the nova we need to buy more nova ammunition because i have so much of this so i'll buy this oh one thousand of these and we have enough cash, that's good. Put the Novas in here, because I use those a lot. But I wanted to actually give it a little bit more oomph. A little, a little bit more oomph. And what I mean by that is that we add a rig that's going to increase the DPS quite a bit. Uh, T0 Kestrel, more DPS. This one here, using the Counteraction Catalyst rig. This will give us some sweet DPS. So, what we do here is we remove the, the multi-spectrum. Remove this... Uh, the hardener here and then, put, and then we also destroy one of these rigs and then we just click fit here buy all and it worked decently well i just think that it could use a little bit extra dps and that's going to be solved here so the previous fit was so cheap that you i think you're going to have an easy time uh, being able to do sites maybe there could be the occasional site that you could run into that could be bad but i think it's got a pretty solid chance of surviving the t0 dark abyss uh, this then I think will do a little bit better because of the increased DPS. So we've got compact multi-spectrum, got a tick two EM shield amplifier. So I trained one more skill, but I'm still using the one million skill point referral link. And it's shield upgrade. You see this one here. And if you want to know all the uh, skills I've trained, it's these ones here. You see these skills here? I've trained all these skills here. So if you want to get the same skills as me, you just train these skills. You can use your referral link to get those skill points. So we've got 99 DPS here, a little bit more DPS, and that's very useful. Uh, let's just see here, 10 mm on a propellant. That's good. Okay, so we'll go into the abyss. Get some tranquil dark. Now we can save some of these here. And then put some here. Then we have some extra just in case. Okay, let's go. So I like the idea of a Pacific Kestrel because you can get decently good tank. I mean, I, the active tank is also a pretty good idea too. But I have a hard time being able to fuel the tank with the capacitor and getting it to fit all right. Here, I feel like it's a bit more uh, rewarding. or I feel like the passive tank is a little bit more uh, lenient on the fitting. It could definitely be an option to go with an active tank. Especially a medium shield booster. They can be quite good. A compact medium shield booster here and you get a pretty decent amount of shield boost 30 hp a second you need to have a lot of uh, capacitor mods to be able to do this for a decent amount of time a small cap battery something like this even there it's 36 seconds let's go to the safe and then form a fleet with ourselves and let's go reload all Okay, you see this tranquil dock and deploy. Give this a go. So the idea here is that this is a fit that's supposed to be like you've farmed a few sites and then you can do make a few upgrades to this. So this is why I see it be the progression to be. I have to just alter this fit slightly because I don't want those filaments to be in here. There we go, 7.6 million. Shouldn't be too hard to get. Striking Damovic, we get just close, really close to the sky. I think navigation skills we can get, high speed removing, warp drive, no, we already maxed them out, it's okay. And then we just attack him straight away. Missiles away. And we let him get close. And I use the explosive on all the Triglavians. 
a lot better to use the explosive there. Lowest resist type is explosive, these guys. It would be nice, it would be really great to have a little bit extra range. That thing could help us a lot. In some ways it could even help more than DPS. But I think a certain skybreaker disparo trooper wave, it's a really annoying wave, that is a way which can be useful to have uh, the uh, increased DPS because that ship has a lot of HP per second tank and he's pretty slow so you have an easy time getting close to him. It would be really cool if we could encounter him. Okay, let's go towards the bite of cash. Easy. And we reload here. And we also go pretty quick. 1.3k a second with the afterburner. In the dark sites, it gives us a nice bonus. One volley here. And another one. I thought we would be able to one shot that guy. Let's open that up. Almost 1 million. Get pretty good profit margins here. I like doing the T-Zeros and the frigates. They get so much better than destroyers. And especially cruisers. So my idea here is that I get eventually a Hawk and then I go to T1s and a Hawk and then use the Hawk to get to T2s and then maybe a Gila for T3s or something of the like. Lucifer Fury. This guy can Newt. And the best damage type is I think Explosive. Let's go Explosive. I think this guy can Newt a little bit but not so much. Yeah, look, he needs a little bit. But nothing too crazy. There we go. Shoot a volley here. And another one. And open this up. 700k. Just, you know, some quick isk. Some, some quick isk. <laughs> I have a trouble finding a good price to performance balance for doing T3 sites because T3 sites I find that it's a little bit too difficult to solo in a frigate but then you want to use a cruiser but then you earn so little in a cruiser doing a solo T3 sites not really being able to find a very good uh, fit that is able to like be very cheap and still be able to be worth uh, in my opinion or feel nice when you do the T3s I just feel like uh, T3 is, in my opinion, not such a nice tier to stay on. You want to try to get to T4s as quick as possible. That seems pretty easy here. Let's go to the buy out of cash. I want to work more on those T4 fits because I'm, I've got the Cerberus and I've got the Gila. There's two fits I can use. The hybrid Gila, in my opinion, is a very good uh, option, but the Cerberus is also a very good option. Now we're done. So that was the easy site there. Not a tall challenge very strong the ship feels i definitely think that it would be a good idea that we would encounter the more difficult waves such as the sky breaking disparo troop waves but that's until another day i felt like uh i would at least like that we had an increased amount of dps here it had a good feeling to me because we had like 89 dps now we have 99 dps so like over 10 percent increase in damage by adding this rig here i think that's a pretty solid investment when you're trying to find to upgrade the ship Okay, so that's for now. Kestrel doing T0 sites with a tiny bit extra investment compared to the previous basic fit I've got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.